What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're checking out the Palm Project, which is a new NFT ecosystem for culture and creativity built efficiently with Ethereum. So what this means, it's an EVM chain with low gas fees and fast transaction speeds designed specifically for artists, IP owners, and entertainment industry. So for example, looking at the partners, they're working with the bigs in crypto, MetaMask, Chainlink, but interestingly, the bigs in the entertainment industry, Warner Bros, DC, and Candy. So already we're having, for example, DC, over here have their nft marketplace with nfts for superman and batman popping up same thing for candy over here they have major league baseball so one of the biggest leagues in the world all these digital collectibles available over here stored on the palm network in their marketplace the only limitation here is all these different marketplaces propping up so it's hard to know which nfts the palm network has but that's where morales comes in because morales is already integrated with the palm network so you can start building with it for example here you Using the search NFTs endpoint, we can search the whole Palm network using a query string to get all the NFTs where metadata has that specific query string. All you have to do is specify the chain, Palm network over here, then search for a query, for example, Batman, as we know that's on the Palm network, try it out over here. And looking at the response over here, look at this, we have 2 million responses and the results array has all these tokens, the token ID, token address, token URI, and already parsed metadata with image assets, trait attributes, et cetera, et cetera. And this would also return all the NFTs for your different search query parameters. But using just this online interface might not be that useful. What you can then turn this into is a cool web app where a user can prompt what they want to search for, search that NFT, and then parse the metadata and respond with the image assets. For example, here we can do the same thing for Superman, search these NFTs, and rather instantly, we have the four top results for Superman NFTs on the Palm Network pop up. How sweet is that? If you're interested in how you could build something like this, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build this. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020 and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym. And in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, starting off here, I'm in Visual Studio Code and I have this repository called Palm NFT Start Open. This will be linked in the description if you wanna check it out from there. We have a back-end folder and a front-end folder. We'll mainly be focusing on the back-end and only in the end integrate the front-end to show you the functionality. But using the back-end, we have access to Morales and in that way, the Palm Network. So this is where our main focus will be. So here in the index.js file, you see we have a very simple express server. And let's make sure first that we have all the dependencies installed. So open up your terminal and go ahead and run CD backend to get into the correct folder and then NPM I to get all the dependencies installed. Now, as that installs, everything should be fine, zero vulnerabilities. And let's check out this file. We're using port 3000. We have one endpoint over here, get Paul NFTs, which is currently just responding with an empty object. And as we start up the server, app listen to port 3000 over here, we only do so after we start Morales over here with our private API key. So this will give us access to the Morales API. For this, we have a environment variable called Morales key over here, .env file, which is currently empty. So you'll have to go get a Morales API key. Jump into Google Chrome, go over to morales.io, and you can create an account for free or then log in if you already have an account. This will take you to your Morales admin dashboard. If you wanna check out our intro video, you can do so here or go jump into API and tutorials. But for this tutorial, just jump into Web3 APIs, go ahead and copy your API key, jump back into Visual Studio Code and paste it in here. Very good practices to keep your API keys safe. So I'll just paste it in here, cut this video and jump back into the index.js file. Voila. So. Over in the R Express app, in this get Palm NFTs endpoint, what we're going to want to do is make that Morales API request to search NFTs based on the user's requested search terms. So what we're going to do is create a response, which will be equal to awaiting Morales and the EVM API will use the NFT method and search for NFTs. And what we have to pass as parameters, as you saw in the introduction, is the chain we want to use. And for the chain, we can go ahead and check out the Morales documentation. So open up Google Chrome. In the API reference over here, we have the supported chains tab. And here we have all the supported EVM chains. If you just want to use the EVM chain over here, you can use Palm. Or if you want to use the chain ID, which we'll use, you can get it from over here. Copy that, 
jump back into Visual Studio Code and paste your chain in there. Then your search query term, which is indicated by a Q letter. And we can, for example, search for bat because we know that there are DC comic NFTs and Batman NFTs on the Palm network. But later on, we'll actually use whoever is calling this endpoint and their specific request. This is just a sample. And then we can set a limit, for example, here, limit, we'll set it to four. So we don't get too many responses while we're just trying this out. So this should have us going very nicely. What we can do now is then send back to whoever is making this request, the response response dot raw. So the raw format of the response, save that, and we're ready to rock, open up your terminal, like so we can clear this. And then as we're in the backend folder, we should have Nodemon installed. So run npm run start. And this is the script that starts our express server using Nodemon and we're listening for requests. Now what we can do is go ahead and make a request to this endpoint. So let's open up Google Chrome, for example, and make one from our browser in the navigation bar, type out localhost 3000, get palm NFTs like so. So now we'll be calling our express server that's running locally and should get four responses where the metadata includes the word bat. So let's search this and look at this. We have our response. So we have a total of 1.2 million matches. But as we set our limit to four, we're only returning four of the first matches over in our response. And then I'll link a video in the top right corner where we show how you use this cursor parameter to make your next request and get the following four responses out of these 1.2 million responses. But as you see, Morales automatically parses the metadata for the NFTs as well. In this results array, we have four objects which represent all a unique NFT in which we have the image key, a description of them, traits, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can do what you wish with all of this data. For us, we'll just be taking the image key and presenting it in our app. So for example, here we have the image key which is IPFS, we can copy it out like so open up a new browser where we use IPFS gateway to check out what this NFT image looks like. And look at this, this is the NFT in question, it is a Harley Quinn NFT in the Batman collection of DC Comics. And this is how we can search NFTs from the Palm network. We can go ahead and actually now change our Express endpoint so that we don't automatically set the search term, but the user can query what they want for themselves. So let's destruct the query that is sent in the request to this endpoint and use that query.q as the search term for our Morales API call. Let's save this. Now our Express server updated and we can go ahead and make another another request. So jumping into Google Chrome, where we made our request over here, get Palm NFTs. Now we append this with the query parameters, which was a Q. And we can, for example, search for MLB. So Major League Baseball, which have their NFTs on the Palm network as well. Search this and look at this. We also get abundance of NFTs. The page size is set to four and the metadata is automatically parsed for us using Morales. We get the name of the NFT, which is Daz Cameron, and we get the image data and all the attributes for these NFTs. We can check out this image again, copy it out from here, and paste it in our navigation bar over in here. And look at this, we have a Daz Cameron NFT that is stored on the Palm network. So that is, in essence, how powerful the Morales API is in searching for any NFTs that are stored on the Palm network. And you can provide any search terms and see if there are any NFTs relating to those search terms. So what we'll do now is we'll clean up this response a little bit. So we only get the image asset of the NFT and then display those images on our front end app by making a request to the same endpoint. So jumping back into Visual Studio Code, let's close down our terminal. And now in our response, what we can do is we know that the response.raw has a result array. So let's loop through it like so. So each NFT in the response.raw result array, what we're gonna do for it is we're gonna get the URL of the image like so. And then outside the loop, actually beforehand, we'll have to initialize an array where we store all the image URLs, let URLs equal an array. And then what we can do is we'll check first if we actually have a URL for this specific NFT. If one isn't present, we'll just continue to the next iteration of the loop. But 
if the image URL has a IPFS tag like so, this is not actually a image URL. So we'll have to change this section of the image key to an IPFS gateway like so and just paste the location which will be in the rest of the key like so so this will allow us to actually fetch the nft media from ipfs and then finally else the case will be that the url is ready to be fetched from so then we can just use urls dot push and push the url to our urls array and now we should have an array with all the image data of the nfts that morales fetched for us so we can respond with this urls array like so let's check that nodemon updated yep we're listening for requests jump back into google chrome and we can make the same request search and now as a response we just get an array with the four nfts when searching for major league baseball then we can change this, for example, to Superman. And let's see if we get any Superman NFTs in the DC Comics collection. And look at this, we get four IPFS addresses for Superman NFTs. So now our Express app is ready. We can go ahead and jump into our front end folder where we'll make requests to the same backend and then just display these image assets on a front end page. So jumping into Visual Studio Code, we can close down our terminal over here. Here, close down our index.js file in our file directory. Let's open up the front end folder. Check out, it is a simple React app. The source folder has a app.js. Very simple over here. We have two state variables, one for the search query string we're storing in the queue variable. And then when we get a response from our backend, we'll store them in this NFT state variable. Then we have this one function that gets the NFTs using Axios. We're sending the request to localhost 3000, the get palm NFTs endpoint. And as parameters, we're sending the search query string. And then we're console logging them so we can see them in our browser as well if we want to. And we're just setting the response data to the NFTs as this will be an array like we saw over here. So now our NFTs variable in our front end will have four image assets. Scrolling down, all we have here is one input field where we can change the query string. Then as we press the button, we get the NFTs using the get NFTs function. And then as long as we have an NFTs array, we map them. And as most of them are video assets, we're just returning them as video assets over in our front end. You might want to change this to image assets as well, or make a check whether it has a .mp4 tag or a .mp3 tag and conditionally render images versus videos. But we'll just stick with videos. So now let's fire up this front end, open up our terminal, open a new terminal over here, jump into the front end folder, make sure we install all dependencies, npmi. And as that's finished, we can run npm run start, which will open up our front end because we have something running on localhost 3000, which is our back end. This asks us to rather run it on localhost 3001. Let's press yes. And our front end will look something like this. Find Palm Network NFTs. We have one input field where we can search for NFTs. So let's, for example, search for MLB first. Search these NFTs. And look at this. Almost instantly, we get four of the MLB NFTs. We can play them over here. We got Daz Cameron, for example, here. Then we play this one. We got Garrett Hampson and so on and so forth. Like I said, you might want to add a cursor parameter to your backend where you can load more NFTs if you want more than just the four first responses. And now let's try a different term. Let's go, for example, Superman. Search these NFTs on the Palm Network. And rather instantly, we have four Superman NFTs from the DC Comics collection. Let's start, play this. Look at this. It's a nice rotating Superman disc. Same for this. We got different Superman NFTs. Again, here we're only displaying the images, but you might want to use the metadata to get the name of the NFT, some of the traits, and display them on this app as well. But that is, in short, how you can use Morales searching NFT metadata functionality to get any of the NFTs on the Palm blockchain. And this way you can build the next big NFT app. So you don't have to constantly swap between different marketplaces to find the NFTs you want. You have all the NFTs in one place by using Morales. I hope you found this useful. I'll catch you in the next one.